Okay, this is sixth grade lesson three, missing numbers in addition and missing numbers in subtraction. So what I mean by missing numbers is, let's say we were doing an adding problem. Okay, if I'm having a missing number, it's like this, and I have to figure out what n equals. Well, we already know that four plus three equals seven, seven. so n would equal three, okay? But you're gonna get much harder problems like 259 plus something equals 632. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so, all right? So it always helps me, and this might help you, is to go smaller number, bigger number, smaller number, bigger number, and then try to think, what did I do to figure this out? Okay. I did seven minus three, or I did three plus one, two, three, four. Yeah. Five, six, seven, and getting four. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, four. Okay? Now. Now. So these are called miss or these are called add-ins. Do you remember for learning that? Uh yes. Okay. This is a missing add-in. Missing add-in. And whenever you have a missing add-in, do you know what you do to get the answer? Subtract. Oh. Always. Yeah. So I write this little asterisk down and say when you have a missing number in the add-ins, which are the numbers that are being added, you always, always, always subtract to get your answer. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So, what do I subtract? You the subtract two numbers I do know. Mm -hmm. Or and that you I put do the have. bigger one on top. Uh -huh. You always put the bigger on top. You're exactly right, Eli. Good, good observation. Okay? So, let's do that. 632 minus 259, okay? So I take the numbers okay. I do know and I subtract them. So let's do that. I need nine apples, but I only have two. What should I do? Huh? Oh, you go next door. Yep, take away one, bring back 10. So 10 plus two makes 12, okay? So nine, 10, 11, 12. Three. Three. Five, I need out five you apples, but I only have two. Take away six to five. So I take away 10 again. from him, bring it over. And add 10 to it. Good. And 5 from 12. That's 7. Set. Good. Okay. And then 2. I have 5 apples. Take away 2. I have 3. So, I would say N equals 373. Now, I can check that. Let's see if N does equal 373. Okay? It should equal 632. So let's try. 9, 10, 11, 12. 7 plus 5 plus 1 more makes 13. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. We knew that shows us that we got it right. Yep. I highly recommend checking it. Checking it. Because in just a minute, you're going to see that it starts getting really confusing when we start doing missing numbers and subtraction. It's a little bit easier with adding missing numbers because you always subtract. Okay? Now, let's try something else. Let's try a little bit easier. Well, sort of. Okay, let's try 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus what equals 45. What would I do to answer this problem? You'd add the first three. Very good. 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 7 mm -hmm. is 18. So I would rewrite this on my paper. 18 plus n equals 45. Yeah. Then what would I do to answer this problem? Then... You could subtract 45 by 18. Yes, so I would write 45 minus 18, and whatever my answer is would be my n. Yep. Okay? So that, um, we're not going to work it out. I just wanted to kind of walk you through that one. You know how to subtract from now. So. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's talk about subtraction problems. Okay? So let's say I took 7 minus 4 equals 3. Okay. Okay? Okay. Now watch this. 7 minus what equals 3? 4. How did I get that answer, though? In a math problem. How would you get that? Huh? 
You could add four and three, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we don't know four. Oh. Um, we have a seven and a three. You subtract you do three subtract. from seven. Okay, do you remember what this top number is called? Uh, the, no. No, you go look back at your notes. Okay. It's factors? No, that's... No, no, that's the multiplying. It's the menu, menu end. end. Very good. Menu end. Very good. And this number that's missing is the Sub subtrahend. Subtrahend. So, tell me what you do when you're having a missing subtrahend. You subtract. What do oh. we subtract? 7 and 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. N equals 4. But... Yay. Let's have a missing menu end, okay? You just add four and three. You add. So, this is confusing. It is, okay? So, I just want you to write these down for just a minute. When there is a missing subtrahend, you subtract. So... Subtrahend, you subtract. When there is a missing menu end, you add. Okay. Okay. Missing menu end. Okay. Okay. So, if you don't remember these rules, let's do it by common sense. Okay. What do I mean by that? Watch. Let me get one of the problems they have. 236 minus Y, same thing as N, doesn't matter what letter I choose, okay? Minus what, that's what that's saying. 236 minus what equals 152. Now, First thing I want you to do is always notice the biggest number. What's my biggest number? 237. 236. Do I need a bigger number here to get this answer? Or a smaller number than this here to get this answer? Smaller. Smaller. How do you get smaller? Do you add or subtract? Subtract. Yes. So using the common sense method, you looked at the biggest number and you've asked yourself, in this Y, this N, this whatever, we don't know, whatever letter, do I want a bigger number or smaller? I have to have a smaller number. Bigger number won't work here, will it? No. No, because bigger number has to be on top. So I need a smaller number, and in order to get smaller, what do I do? Subtract. Subtract. So you don't actually have to know the rule. You can use common sense. Okay, so let's subtract. 236 and 152. Okay. Four. I'm just going to do this quickly because by now. Okay, you should have gotten 84. So let's check it. We would have put it back in and subtracted two, five, one. So I am right. Okay, let's try one that has a missing menu end. Okay, and let's, let's just label it an N. Okay, now, again, knowing this rule, we know what to do, but let's pretend we didn't know the rule. Okay. Let's use the common sense method. Look at your biggest number, 152. Okay. Do I need a bigger number here and then take away 84 to get 52, 152? Do I need a smaller number than this and then I take away 84 and get this? Uh, you would need a bigger one. I need a bigger number because then I'm going to take away a chunk of 84. To get bigger, what do you do? You add. You add. So what do I add? The numbers I do have. 152 and 84. 6, 13, 2. Does 236 minus 84 equal 132? Yes, because we've already checked it before. Okay? So, 
If you don't remember these rules that are written on your paper, that's okay. Use the common sense method. Okay. Got it? Yep. All right. That is lesson three.